Thank you for tuning in this Sunday evening. Alongside Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge is with us from the sideline. Mike, for teams that are in a mid-season slump, what are coaches telling their players to do and to keep their spirits up? It all depends on the problem. Is it effort? Is it confidence? Is it a personal conflict? Coaches have to be psychologists. <laughs> Come on. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Bill Walton. You know, that's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. It might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he can't hit the second. Here's Nixon, and uh, in the game with the Lakers, he did not play that well. It's rebounded by Carr. Nixon outside. To the inside. Here's Thompson. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. That's muscle and strength from Thompson, plain and simple. Able to take the hit and still convert. That was the 2K drive as that move deserved another look. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Nixon, the pass to Cummings. Passes it to Nixon. Shot clock at six. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. You know, if the defense is going to give him the mid-range jump shot, he's going to take it all game long. Doing a nice job keeping things simple. Well, the defense must guard him better than that, especially when he's operating around the mid-range area. Here's Nat. Last time, 14 points for him. Drexler outside. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Nat misses. And so just over a minute and a half played. Nixon, the pass to Walton. Here's Donaldson. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Going inside. And Walton sends it back. What a play by Walton. A difference maker on the defensive end. Floats one. And so it looks like San Diego will retain possession here. Full 24 second shot clock. Donald's in the pass to Walton. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Outside Pierce to the middle a second chance effort he's off on that one and it's Portland the other way they couldn't put the pieces together losing that last matchup with San Antonio and you know they just couldn't get dialed in from deep which is why they struggled well I think they made things too easy on the defense they should have focused more on moving the ball around the perimeter trying to tire them out here's Donaldson 
and it's thrown down hard with both hands. Cummings doing a nice job finding the open teammate. Good awareness there. Paxson outside. The shot from the low post is good. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Nixon gets the bucket. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Paxson outside. Drexler scanning the floor. Thompson plays it up and banks it in. Thompson's got his second bucket of the night. A shrewd passer at his position. Drexler is all about doing what he can to get the win. Here's Nixon. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Cummings shot is good. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Portland trailing here. Jackson outside. At the top of the key, Thompson. Drexler left side. Nat, the pass to Paxson. Carr sets a screen. Paxson with the ball. Now Pierce defending. Just four to shoot. On the top of the key. Here's Carr. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. San Diego, they've gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Here's Nixon. Spins. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. San Diego shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Noah Nixon at the line for two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. And Portland has possession. They trail by one. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of San Diego this year. And as expected last year, they handled this team easily. Many are expecting to see similar results this year, too. Yeah, but you can't fall into the trap of playing down to your competition. They have to go out there and take care of business. And so here are the Clippers after the Trailblazers pick up two. Pass to Walton. With his first shot attempt and all around the rim that time before dropping in. My goodness, have mercy! Breaking ankles like there's no tomorrow. Now here's Paxson. Tight defense on him. He kicks it to Thompson. Got a piece of it. Now here's Pierce. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And here is Cummings. Pass to Nixon. The shake. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Putting in the effort to get a second chance look. Nice. Paxson passes to Drexler. Here's Nat. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. Drexler up top. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Pierce. And that one goes long. San Diego leading by three. Here's Nixon. He's got five. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. 
easy call for the refs. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. And San Diego making a change here. Morgan's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Portland trails by four. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Here's Carr, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That one on Cummings. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Shooting for Portland. Kenny Carr at the line for two. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. Well, it was the Clippers, their last game a loss to the Lakers. Here's Nixon. Six points for him. Morgan the pass to Nixon. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Now Paxson. Oh, he just disappeared against San Antonio when they really needed him. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. up going with the new group.
back to Valentine. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Five on the clock. Here's Lamp. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Now, here's Decker. Guarded close. Here's Lamp. Now the pass to Valentine. Six to shoot. It's good. This game is all even. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Here's McKinney. Passes it to Benson. Decker with it. Pass to Benson. San Diego needs to get off his shot. Here's McKinney. The rebound by Cooper. Portland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. There's the screen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul, third team foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And here is San Diego now. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. They had their difficulties at the line, and not getting those easy baskets from the strike really cost them in the long run. you got to make the free throws. If free throws aren't going your way, that only increases frustration. And other aspects of the game start to break down. And for Portland, they're shooting 40% here in the early stages to the right side. Inside. Here's Cooper. Doesn't go for him. The Clippers go the other way with it. Here's Decker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. San Diego shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Portland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Now, here's Valentine. 12 points his last outing. Defense backing off there, knowing the mid-ranger is a low percentage look. Here's Benson. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Here's Lamp. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Cooper. Tries again. Verhoeven. And at last, they get one to fall. And the Trailblazers lead by two. Timeout called by the San Diego Clippers. Timeout. 
A chance here for the players to get a much-needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor. Hodges checked in for the Clippers. Fred Hodges. And stolen by Valentine. One forty-four left here in the opening quarter. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there, but I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. Pass to McKinney. Here is Hodges. Here's Benson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Craig Hodges is more than just a shooter, folks. He knows how to get the ball to his open teammates. And here is Valentine. There's the pass to Lamb. Second chance shot. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And this demonstrates his strong work ethic. His teammates appreciate how hard he goes on the offensive glass. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Three left to play here in the first. Here is Hodges. To the paint. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. They don't hesitate when they get their opportunity to punch it inside. Portland leading. Now, Valentine. He averages about uh, five points a game. Here's Cooper. Makes it off the glass. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Clippers shooting 44% overall here in the first quarter. 26 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Benson. And he can't bank that one in. Lamp passes to Valentine. Oh, 
and still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Real Blazers out in front, up by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And for Portland, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? It's obvious. The plan has been to pound that thing inside. I love it. Basketball can be a simple game. Get the ball close in, score easy buckets. You know, Mike, we had a few years of relative parity in the NBA, but lately we've seen the rise of some very dominant teams. And with that, some true rivalries are emerging. The Celtics and Sixers in the East are bitter adversaries. And each of them has recent history with the Lakers. It sets up perfectly, doesn't it, Coach? With those names, those cities, those teams, and the players on those teams. And they all happen to be from a coast, whether it's the East Coast or the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And it's time for an injury report. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer of the Trailblazers was able to update me on the situation. He informed me that the knee was bent slightly backwards and is indeed hyperextended, but that there does not appear to be any structural damage. David, thanks for the report. Mike, good to hear. He will not be out that long. Yeah, Kevin, that could have been a lot worse. Oof. Here's McDowell following the score by Clyde Drexler. Shoots from eight. Donaldson the pass to Potter. Good on the shot. You have to like any chance that close to the hoop. Here is Paxson. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Nat. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Donaldson. Donaldson's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's McKinney. Portland grabs the miss. Carter's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Nat, the pass to Drexler. Paxson outside. Back to Drexler. Pocket six. The screen from Thompson. Nat, well placed jumper from the free throw line. Nat's got his first bucket in this one. This is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. Clippers moving the ball around. Pass to Hodges. Here's McKinney. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Over Paxson. Pass to Hodges. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And another shot. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Using his athleticism to do damage. Hodges being rewarded for taking a charge right there. The Clippers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. Hey, when you think of Hodges, his shooting certainly stands out, but specifically his ability to do major damage behind the arc. That's where he really adds value. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Nat. He's guarded by Cummings. Nat, the pass to Thompson. No good that time. And the Clippers will come the other way. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. Here's Pierce. Lays it up off the glass. I love that possession. Get the ball close to the hoop. A winning play. Hodges against Paxson. Down low. Here's Carr. 
past the net. And it's blocked. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, Hodges misses. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Carr, no good. The Clippers have gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. Here's Hodges. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Drexler outside. The pass to Paxson. The screen from Thompson. Just find the shoot. The shot's good from Paxson. Paxson's got his second basket of the night. He can really shoot the basketball. Paxson with a good look off the dribble there. Pierce, the pass to Morgan. Back to Pierce. Passes to Hodges. Over Paxson. San Diego with another miss. Trailblazers leading by three. To the middle. And Trexler throws it down. That's why Jim Paxson piles up the big assist numbers. How about that dish? Now San Diego with it. They need to find a high percentage shot clock to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down. And that begins to mess with your psyche. Now here's Cummings. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Lakers. And in addition to that, he put in work on the boards. Just phenomenal work from him all around. And for Portland, they're shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Here is Hodges. Back to Pierce. Cummings with the ball. Puts the fade away right on the money. Cummings got his second bucket of the game to go. Not sure I agree with the choice of going to the fadeaway there. Overly complicating what was already a good look. Here's Paxson. It's hauled in by San Diego. Now here's Pierce. Tries the spin move. Clyde Drexler grabs the miss. Eighteen feet out. And that one comes up a bit short. San Diego trails by three. And here is Cummings. They depend on his scoring, and he always delivers, averaging a grand total of 31 points a game. The second effort, and it's good on the way up. Cummings got four this quarter. He is truly one of the outstanding offensive rebounders in the game. Terry Cummings, excellent at reading where shots are coming off and then pursuing the pumpkin. So timeout called here, the first for Portland.
screens changing it up here. Jackson passes to Nat. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Jackson outside. Six on the shot clock. Fires from 14. And Walton sends it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. A tight game here in Portland. Here's Nixon, guarded by Paxson. They get it back. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. These teams have really gone back and forth. Yeah, you know, five lead changes already, partner, and this one's definitely going to be a battle. Now, here's Paxson. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Here's Carr. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Pass to Robertson. Now Walt. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Benson. Portland grabs the miss. Carr's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Nat. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Maxson outside. They set the pick. Hits from the high post. Maxson's got four points now in the quarter. Nice shot that time from the mid-range. It is one of Paxson's go-to shots. Kicks it to Robertson. Dishes it to Walton. Going away. Fast break. Here come the Trailblazers. Lamp can't hit. San Diego trails by three. Here's Nixon. Six points for him. The feed to Cummings. Seven foot shot. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. It appears that he's in a lot of pain, and they call the timeout, and the trainer's going to have a chance to take a look at it.
a shot missing. The Clippers go the other way with it. Benson, the pass to Walton. A gigantic guy. I love when Walton uses his size to attract attention in something. The Clippers have shot 75% at the strike, 6 of 8. Bill Walton taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. You know, what makes Walton special isn't just his physical gifts, and there are many of those. It's how well he uses those gifts. He's smart with his body and makes moves he knows will be the most impactful. He's an efficient, smart, highly skilled player. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Had an opportunity for more there. We'll see if it comes back to bite him. Valentine with it. Pass to Cooper. Here's Lamp. Four on the clock. Turn around, Jay. A shot by Valentine. No good. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shots. Here's Nixon. He's got six. Walton, the pass to Nixon. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Launches it. Walton, it's good on the putback. That is one of the many things you get from Walton. He's a relentless rebounder. Now, here's Valentine. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Lamp. Valentine passes to Lamp. One on one here. Here's Cummings. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. How about the big man running the floor? Terry Cummings showing you some hustle getting up and down in transition. Trying to get something going. Here's Lamp. And it's good from the elbow. Lamp's got five now. That kind of defense isn't going to get it done, especially when it comes to a score of his caliber. Nixon, the pass to Cummings. Trying to get open is Robertson. Cummings can't hit. Portland trailing here. And the pass to Valentine. They set the pick. Passes it to Cooper. Over Walton. The putback. Cummings grabs the board. Cummings got six rebounds in the game. Releases. And it's Nixon missing. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset to have with the way he shot so far. Pass to Cooper. Now the dish to Valentine. to the inside from eight and Walton sends it back and some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime Clippers lead by two we're going to step away briefly but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime and if you're just joining us we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far it's been one outstanding game from Terry Cummings. You know, we often talk about guys who can shoulder the scoring low. He's been relentless. Yeah, great effort. And mentally, he's a step ahead. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Here's Nixon over Paxson. Offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Paxson passes to Drexler. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Cummings. Here's Pierce. That shot, no good. 
Excellent D from Drexel. Pass to Carr. Here's Nat. He's guarded by Cummings. Carr with a screen on Cummings. Here's Nat. It's rebounded by Donaldson. Donaldson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Cummings passes to Nixon. Here's Donaldson. Here's Nixon. Five to shoot. Feeds to Cummings. The pass to Nixon. Plenty of space. Portland grabs the miss. That's normally one of his spots. And it was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. Out to the right wing. Nixon outside. Driving inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. This is what Paxson is out here to do. To score and to draw fouls trying to do so. Jim Paxson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from Paxson. The combo guard Paxson at six foot six has great size in his position and looks to score whenever he can. Both free throws good from Paxson. And he's making them count at the charity strike. No surprise there. The Clippers have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Here's Pierce. And it's Portland with the rebound. Carr's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Nat. To the paint. For the tie, Carr, no good. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense on him. Here's Nixon. He has six. There's the pick. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. It's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Passes it to Nat. Carr sets a screen. Nat, the pass to Carr. Nat ties it up. Carr's got eight points. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Carr's gone three of seven, shooting from the floor. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pass to Cummings. Looking to get it going. No good on that one. And it's Portland the other way. For the lead. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Once he gets in close, Paxson puts a really good touch on that shot. He knows how to adjust and take a little bit off of it when he needs to. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Trailblazers. Jim Paxson. At the line for one. That free throw, good from Paxson. San Diego trails by three. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Walton inside. Carr covering. Shot clock at six. With the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Donaldson's got his third basket of the night. How about that? Some volleyball skills out there. Yeah, good word to use. Just tapping it up and tapping it again. That takes great coordination. Shots good by Carr. 
And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pick allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Cummings kicks to Pierce. Back to Cummings. Nixon, the pass to Pierce. Oh, no good on the triple. Portland leading by three. Nixon outside. It's rebounded by Donaldson. San Diego shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Here's Pierce. Front floor with the block. For Portland, they've gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Clark sets a screen. Here's Nick. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Walton's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Cummings. And the jam by Terry Cummings. Cummings has so much in his game, not to mention how strong and skilled he is. He's capable of dominating because of it. Jackson passes to Thompson. A floater. A putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Trailblazers lead by three. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. Paying off that hard work. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. A different look for the Clippers. Morgan's checked in, and Decker subbed in for Walton. Here's Nixon. He has six. The pass to Benson. Here's Nixon. Shot clock at five. Pass to Morgan. Here's Cummings. No good. That would have tied it. Trailblazers leading by three. Nixon outside. Passes it to Thompson. Here's Trexler. And he overshot that one, missing. San Diego has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Nixon. Hits the target from 18 feet. Nixon's got eight points. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Robertson, he's checked in for Cummings. 
the Trailblazers have gone a somewhat sub-5, 4 of 10 on their shots in the well, second half time so out, far. Time, out. time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And outside. And the best to Norris. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. So tough to stop him on his way to the rack. It is. Love the casual style on that bucket. An important basket in a tight ball game. Here's Nixon. Eight points for him. They set the screen. Not loose. With the block. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Wrong take that time. Drexler, a chance to add another. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Trailblazers. Five, Drexler. One shot. The free throw drops for Drexler. An all-around threat, Drexler's also a fantastic dunker who fans love watching. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Here's Nixon over Paxson. Misses off the right eye. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Nat, the pass to Paxson. Pass to Norris. Drexler inside. He's got seven with the second effort. And he lays it up and in. Norris has got the lead up to eight now for the Trailblazers. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Here's Nixon. He's got eight. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. Drexler with the block. And there's the drive. Nat misses. San Diego trails by eight. Pass to Decker. Benson. Drexler defending. Here's Benson. It's rebounded by Carr. 
Carter's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. They get the rebound. Norris. Nice yet again. And it's good on the way in. Matt's got his second bucket. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Out left of the wing. Here's Nixon. They need this. Trying to get open is Robertson. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Nixon. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Trying to close the gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one. Creating high percentage looks inside. Now a timeout called by Portland. Dishes to Valentine. Pass to Cooper. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. That's how to set a screen. You've got to be quick to the spot, set your feet, and hold your position. He nails all three aspects here. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Wayne Cooper. One shot. What's up? San Diego trails by 11. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Here is Hodges. McKinney passes to McDowell. Clock at four over Cooper. And McDowell gets it to go. McDowell's got his first basket of the night. Portland with the ball. And here is Valentine. At the top of the key, Westbrook. There's the pass to Cooper. Just five on the clock. Inside. A shot's good from Westbrook. Westbrook's got the lead up to 11 now for Portland. Boy, I love the attacking mindset. Putting the bigger defender on his heels. 
nicely done. Yeah, not giving him any time to react is the way to do it. And you see the results. Here's McKinney. No points in the game yet for him. There's a screen. And it's Piotrowski with the rebound. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. Valentine passes to Westbrook. 122 left in the third quarter. Fades and shoots. And it's off the back rim. No good. You know, on that shot, I'd like to see him go straight up with it. Potter misses. Trailblazers leading by 11. Outside Westbrook. Puts it up from 12. It's hauled in by San Diego. Here's Potter. To the wing right side. Knocks it loose. Morgan the pass to Potter. Here is Hodges. Pulls up. High post. McKinney no good. A tremendous team effort, Mike, offensively from them tonight. Well, they've been unselfish, a ton of assists, plus lots of different scorers out there. Yeah, things you all appreciate. Here's Piotrowski. Right wing, Verhoeven. And a miss there on the triple. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Hill Blazers out in front. They lead by 11. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Portland leading by 11. Maxson outside. Thompson right side. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson's speed. Paxson's got assist number five here tonight. Here's Nixon. Walton is screen on Paxson. And it's Nixon missing. Here's against Drexler. Stolen. And now San Diego on the break. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Pierce. Wasted no time getting that ball up the court. Great decision to push it and make the sharp pass to the hoop. Now here's Drexler. Pass to Baxson. The screen from Thompson. Kept alive. Carr. And the dunk by Carr. He is going to work down there. Gets the follow-up slam as a result. Clark, you know, his effort on the boards tonight has been electrifying. Superb. And he's the difference in the game right now. Hustle plays like that one are a huge boost for his team. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Nat. Carr sets a screen. It's rebounded by Donaldson. Donaldson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pierce the pass to Nixon. To the wing on the left. And Walton throws it down. Oh, yeah. Look at Big Red throwing it down. Nixon outside. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Drexler throws it down hard. Hey, when you throw it Drexler's way, expect the exciting. Because this guy doesn't disappoint. One of the best alley-oop throw-downers in the game. Now here's Pierce. Fourth quarter of play. And we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. They get it again. 
And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from Cummings. Playing like a man possessed. If he can't match his energy, then just get out of the way. Yeah, you saw by the putback completely locked in. They're getting the full contribution from him tonight. Oh. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. San Diego trails by nine. Passes it to Cummings. Clippers moving the ball around. Trailblazers foul. Michael Thompson. First personal foul. First team foul. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Here's Donaldson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Terrific effort from him, really all night. Yet despite his supreme marksmanship, they're still operating at a deficit. Now here's Paxton. And finished off by Drexler. Boy, how about the extension at the rim? So explosive. Drexler powering through. Timeout called by the San Diego Clippers. And I think one area to critique right now, the shot selection he's been going with. He's missing a lot of shots. And I think right now it's hurting this team. It's time to start becoming a facilitator more. Try to get the opportunity spread around on this offense. And San Diego making a change here. Morgan's checked in. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. During the break, I heard what San Diego's coach was telling the team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Casta Nixon looking to get back on track here. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Last season, the NBA, Mike adding the sixth man of the year and defensive player of the year awards. What were your thoughts on that? A great decision by the league to create those awards. Giving some love to guys who might not usually get recognition. I, I know you feel the same Take way. The game has so many two levels shots. and so many facets to it. And everybody's got their hand on the success, including the defensive player on that team or, or this guy that comes off the bench and is the, the crucial sixth man. A guy might be great in one particular area. Why not be recognized for it? Because it's a major contribution to that person's team winning by him doing what he does well. Well, that's a great thought. And he's good on the second. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Jackson outside. Now the pass to Carr. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got his eighth assist in the game. 
Here's Nixon. Outside Pierce. Cummings inside. And he uses the glass on the layup. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay on. Here's Thompson after the Clippers pick up two. Outside, Drexler. Shot clock at five. From about 19 feet. Another shot and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Good job that time by Michael Thompson, able to get that shot in the air while taking the foul. Michael Thompson at the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And Thompson, as reliable a big man as you'll find in this league, especially when it comes to scoring. And so Thompson nails both of them. San Diego trails by 10. Here's Nixon. Pass to Cummings. And the jam by Terry Cummings. Launching right to the rim, flying through the air. Terry Cummings throwing it down. For Portland, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Thompson up top. Drexler right side. Up top, Paxson. Lock at six. This is it to Carr. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. Kenny Carr taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw missing. Second free throw, good. San Diego trails by nine. Here's Nixon. Pass to Cummings. Takes it from ten. Thompson with the rebound. The trailblazer shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Paxson passes to Carr. And there's the pass to Drexler. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Cummings got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Cummings. It's good on the putback. Great energy. Stayed with the play all the way through. Trailblazers leading by seven. Now Paxson. And that one's on target from the wing. San Diego, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Cummings in the post, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Terry Cummings, a contemporary of mine, possesses a combination of power and movement that's unique. Really gives him an edge on most nights. Shooting two.
first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Action with the ball. Right at the free throw line. It's hauled in by San Diego. Donaldson's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Nixon outside Pierce. Pass to Cummings. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Pierce. Here's Morgan. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Morgan's got his first points of the game. Clearly a mix-up defensively there. Way too easy inside. And in a close game, those can come back to haunt you. Drexler against Pierce. Back to Drexler. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Here's Nick. And he gets the basket. Officials pouring the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's good. Impressive concentration, getting the bump and the hoop. And that's got to fire him up, showing the defense that they aren't going to slow him down. Walton's checked in for San Diego. At the line for one. One shot. San Diego trails by eight. Here's Nixon. Over Paxson. That one a little long. This is what happens to streaky shooters. He couldn't miss in the first half, and now he can't buy one. Shoots from 14, and the jumper falls for him. Paxson's got nine points here in the second half. Once Paxson sees a few drop, it's on now. He's in the zone. Here's Nixon. That one misses. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Nice job to guide that miss back in with a deft little touch. And what about the timing clock? He showed to be right where he needed to be at the right time. That's a lot harder than he made it look. Great tip in. Here's Cummings. And the layup's good off the glass. Cummings got 12 now in this quarter. He is simply torching a defense that has no answers for him. Now, here's Paxson. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Here's Carr. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. Can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Well, like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. Portland leading by 10. Paxson outside. Has to call. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Portland. Kenny Carr. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good.
No good on the second free throw. San Diego trails by 11. Here's Nixon. The pass to Cummings. Over Carr. Cummings can't hit. And for Portland, their shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Here's Trexler. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Here's Nixon, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Fourteen foul. Shooting for San Diego. Norm Nixon at the line for two. Shoot the two. The first one falls. He makes one of two that time. Mike, they should just be taking their time right now. Am I right? Absolutely, Kevin. The clock is their friend right now. Here's Drexler. It's rebounded by Donaldson. Donaldson's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Nixon. San Diego with another miss. Portland leading by 10. He locks up the alley-oop pass. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Let's it go from 11. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. That right there is devastating. Trying to get back in the ball game, and that mistake just kills momentum. That would be a case of trying to do too much. He had good intentions, but it didn't work out. Paxson outside. Pass to Carr. Back to Paxson. They get a hand on it. Is it just me, or has this guy grabbed every rebound tonight? What a terrific performance. Pure effort out there. He is fighting, clawing, just willing himself to get everything. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the Trailblazers. You know, Clark, they had great ball movement in this one, didn't they? And it shows in those assist numbers. Well, I like the way they played, Kevin. An unselfish brand of basketball, and they created a lot of good shot opportunities with their passing and moving. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. Cummings' shot is good. The defense draped all over him. No issue for Terry Cummings. Still able to knock the shot down. Nixon outside. The screen from Thompson. From 10 feet out... The shot's good from Paxson, and the Trailblazers lead by 12. What a way for them to finish the game, closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. It's good. And it's got to be frustrating that they're finally starting to play like this, being this one is basically done. Well, hopefully they can take this energy into the next one, because I don't see them coming away with the victory tonight. Paxson outside. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Mike, would you say they just kept a better energy throughout the game tonight? They came in with extra confidence with the whole crowd behind them. And that about wraps it up. For our reporter David Aldridge, Henry Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.